a little bit about what I'm going to be shooting tonight. I'm going to be shooting the Rio Ofuki area. Look, I'm sure you guys are going to have a bit of a laugh at me right there because I have no idea how to pronounce it, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's one of the most beautiful and most colourful areas of our night sky. Uh, apart from Orion in that constellation, we've got the nebulas and the clusters around Antares. That's a bit easier to say. So I'm going to be shooting that. I'm going to be shooting it in a mosaic, so using the 50mm um, f1.2s lens. I'm going to be shooting at f2 because I want my, sharp, I want my star to be just a little bit more sharper. And being that it's an f1.2 lens at f2, I'm going to be still letting in so much light. It's going to be like imaging with the Rasses f2. And I'm going to be um, just creating just like a little bit more sharpness with that lens. Second, I'm going to be using an ISO of 400. Uh, again, nice big aperture, low ISO. I'm going to be using 60 second exposures and hopefully with a bit of luck, we're going to be capturing roughly about eight panels. Now, I've just finished taking a test shot to see, to make sure all those settings that I wanted to shoot with work well and they seem to be looking quite nice on the, uh, on the computer. However, there are some clouds about. Um, they should blow over, shouldn't have too many issues, I hope. But again, with guiding and, and all that, I mean, we don't, I mean, probably really don't need to have, have guiding, to be honest with you. Because um, the shooting is such a wide um, angle, so uh, short focal length, wider angle. Um, any, if any errors um, show up, well, usually they won't. They won't show up, <laughs> basically. So, uh, yeah, we, we will get some guiding going. Um, hopefully, some of the cloud cover that might come by throughout the night or vice versa, don't screw up the guiding too much. Okay, so with all that being said, I think it's time we crack on and get started with this image. what can I say it's been one of those nights once again and I seem to be continually having issues with Nina and the issue is dropouts with the mount I don't know what is going on and I'm I'm confused because I never used to have this problem and then now I'm having this problem um, it's not like this computer system is always connected up to the internet it's not like it's always you know, um, updating everything. So I'm just really confused as to why um, this issue keeps ha happening. And I know it's not power related because I have a lot of power right now um, in reserve going through this, this whole system. So um, that was one of the things that I wanted to try out. But uh, yeah, so the um, mosaic, eight panel mosaic didn't end up going together. Every time I finished a sequence of images, which I had to reduce the amount of images I was um, originally going to take due to all the cloud that had come across. Um, so when that all cleared, uh, I changed it. Instead of shooting 30 frames, I was shooting 10 frames. And every time it shot that 10th frame, it would disconnect the, the, um, the mount for some reason. Um, so I had to reconnect the mount and then off, off it go again and it was just a pain and I really really want to love Nina I really do um, the whole reason I went to Nina is that mosaic building ability and, uh, and as you guys may know want or um, if you've been following my channel for a while now you notice that the whole twin twin rasters and everything about what I like to do is mosaics um, and definitely challenges. Uh, I do like the challenge of astrophotography, but it does come to a point when it just starts to become a bit of a pain. So what did I do? I switched um, to Backyard Nikon, and I love that program so much. And the fact that you can 
I, I mean, to be honest with you, I have not used that program in many years. Uh, I'd have to say probably about four years. Um, so adding it onto my Premier Loose um, Eagle 4 computer, just having it there as a backup was fantastic. And I didn't realize that you can run two, two cameras simultaneously on them now. So that's pretty cool and um, something I might try in the future. But I ended up running Backyard Nikon. I pointed the, cam um, the camera to Antares and I shot a single shot of, single frame, no, I shot 10 frames, <laughs> um, 10 frames of uh, Antares and that just went smoothly. And I even dithered, um, had connection to the, uh, the telescope system through um, the ASCOM and CPWI, which is exactly the same that I do with Nina. But for some reason, I never got any dropouts with Backyard Nikon and I was getting dropouts with Nina. I just don't understand what's going on there. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's just one of, those, one of those crazy nights. The wind has picked up. I, um, I don't have any issues with any wind whatsoever. Normally if I had the twin brasses on it, we'd be having some issues. But because this system is so compact, so small, um, and the mount is so stable, no problems at all with these, uh, this wind. All right, well, uh, yeah, so another interesting night out shooting Astro. Um, forecast, I don't know what's going on. Uh, we've had nothing but uh, very, very poor weather. So usually if it's gonna be a clear night, I'll know maybe a few hours before. Um, which is totally different to how I normally uh, predict my weather. Anyway, I'm going to leave it on this. I'm going to start packing up. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, despite it not quite going the way it has been, and the last few videos not quite going the way they should be either. But don't you worry. I'll keep at it. I'll keep persisting through, and we'll work out what the problems are. If you've, uh, if you've got any comments, please uh, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, and this is the very first video that you've seen, please check out some of my other videos. And if you like them, maybe subscribe. All right, guys. So that's it for me tonight. So until next time, take it easy. See you.